Hey guys, this is just my little rundown on the GWM. Now I've been towing with this thing for about 4,000 k's um, with this three ton caravan here. Right, this is how it sits. I've not done anything to the car. It's completely stock. Every single person asks me, what have I done to the rear suspension? Nothing. Like, just leave it as it is. Just hook it up and go. Um, I'm gonna throw in a few videos. Uh, I've done a little bit of reviewing as I've been driving along, um, recorded a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll put it in now. Yeah, enjoy. An update on how the GWM's going. Um, cannot fault it. Like, pretty much if you drive in sports mode, um, sports mode lane keep assist is probably the most dangerous thing in the car when it comes to towing a caravan just because you like you want to move over and a truck's coming the other way so you want to move over a little bit or someone's overtaking you and you want to move over a little bit you move over and then the car sort of turns you back into them um, I don't know I, I just find it really really dangerous so I turn that off straight away or on the unmarked roads in the country like yeah they, they make up lines. Yeah, like if you're on a dirt road, sometimes the car thinks it can see lines and it just sort of does whatever it wants to do. Um, which it's a really cool safety feature without the trailer on. Uh, but I'm really used to not using it now. So now I'm just turning it off every time, like a lot of people do. So that's a very, very common thing that a lot of people talk about, um, like on Facebook and stuff. Now the um, burns, the DPF burns, literally just let it do its burns and so many people whinging about it it just comes up on the dash that it's doing a burn it does its burn after about five ten minutes or whatever and i just drop it down and i hold it sort of in sixth or seventh on the highway and it just does the burn and goes away do not be do not be worried about that but geez everybody is that's all if you read up about reviews and stuff that's all you sort of see and following on the facebook pages everybody just talks about the same thing Oh, speaking about it right now look at that a DPF burn so I'm just gonna put it in manual mode and just keep it in six now but it's just doing a burn it's just gonna stay on for about five minutes or so I don't care um, I, like, like what people say a lot of the manufacturers don't show you that that burns happening so you don't even realize it but it's on every modern you so don't let it worry you um, yeah so right now we're back in a hundred zone I'm just going to use manual and keep it in sort of 6 at 100, which doesn't cause any problems, just keeps the revs up over 2,000 RPM for that burn. Um, but if you look on the back of the car right now, if you throw on the camera in the back, that caravan back there is 3 tonne. This car is towing 3 tonne with a tiny little 2 litre motor with the ZF 8 speed gearbox. Like, easy. Like, not an issue at all. So right now, look, I'm doing 100 in manual seven. I just leave it in sports mode. A lot of the time I just leave it in auto now. Like I'm really getting used to it now. Um, and I just, I don't know, it just does the, it does the job. Oh, this. this. I guess this is why I haven't done much of an update on the car because it's just. Not, it's not much too far. It's not causing me any grief at all. And it's so comfy. We're, we're in love and it's massive. There's so much room back there for the kids. Um, it's just really, really spacious, nice, big car. Get one. Um, the brake controller. I reckon I'm using the brake controller wrong. So every time, every time I turn the car on, the first two or three brakes, it does full brake on the caravan. It just locks up the wheels. And then it sort of adapts. It's like a learning thing. And then it adapts and then the braking's really good after that. So it's a really good brake controller, the Red Arc. So, so any hot tips for that, let yeah. us know. If you've got a tip for um, how I adjust that thing, just so it remembers the caravan or something, because every single time I get in, it just slams those brakes on for the first three brakes. So yeah, give it, give us an idea on that. Um, what else? Like the This multimedia unit, you know, that's maps. Yeah. Um, it all works, works perfect. This isn't, this isn't really a review on the whole car itself, it's just sort of giving you an update on how I'm finding it towing three tonne around Australia. It's a lot, of, it's a, like a highly asked question, how, yeah. right? like we even get stopped by randoms on the street. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds like we're a bit of a big head there, but um, we've actually had 
someone pull over and ask us about how it tows. It's mainly the towing question. It's not anything to do with the car personally itself. Yeah, yeah like, and all I can say, yes, it tows beautifully. Don't be scared to buy one. Um, it's got seven years unlimited kilometer warranty. Like, beat that. Who the hell gives you that? That's awesome. I can keep this car for seven years not thinking about anything mechanically because it's all warranty. It's mad. Um, but anyway, that's that's us. Uh, one other thing is people complained about the air conditioning somewhere along the way that wasn't the greatest. Um, our aircon is perfect. It's perfect. What'd they say about it? That it just wasn't going cold or something. But I reckon they must have had a gas issue with that one off or something. But I don't know, the air conditioning is really nice. Then again, we haven't pumped it in hot days yet. Yeah, we haven't had a boil in hot days, so we'll, we'll give you an update when that, if, if it turns bad after that. All right. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and uh, yeah, go down, and you won't, literally, if you go and test drive one of these, you're going to buy it. Yeah. So go down there, have a crack. It's a really, really beautiful car.